Go ahead. Hi, my name is Mujib. Today I'm presenting about the uh, English class, about the uh, interpreter. In this uh, unit, I learn a lot of vocabulary words, and uh, we read about uh, two dumb learned stories from the collection interpreter of Malanti. And I learned how to make a connection between stories and our life and compare and contrast the message about uh, about the world in different stories and I, so I speak with the group before writing the answer and speaking with tourists to check our ideas one idea I learned more about uh, in this unit was learn an, a new important word which is simulation and identity this means I can understand from where that uh, where where they where they are and uh, a lot of things about the stories. When I read the two stories in English class, I compare between the stories and in interpreter of Malandi, Mrs. S So they adapt to the to to the country, but in Mrs. Sin, she didn't change her identity because she still speaking her language and she wear uh, Indian clothes. At the same time, she uh, assimilate to language to American because she speaks English. Learn more about this impact me because I improved my English. Also, I understand more about the story. When I was reading with my group, I was always speaking in English with my group and discussion with them about the questions. One idea I learned more about in this unit was reading to the two stories, which means we read in class as a group. I'm sorry, Majid, we have to stop for a minute. Okay. So when people ask, like, why can't I have, go to see other people's presentations? This is the reason, because people are not respectful of the other people sometimes. Okay, go ahead. When we, ha when we have a reading, we work on it as a group, talking with the group about the questions, sharing ideas, and decide one answer for the group. Learn more about this impact me to speak and write more in English, also challenge myself to think and uh, get the answer. The evidence is writing notes from the reading. During the reading, we always answer many questions to show our understanding. One idea I learned more about this in this unit was making a connection between stories and our life. This means we can learn from their mistakes. For example, in interpreter of Malandi, I, I learned that some people, even they they talk to to you nicely, means they feel in love with you. Like in Mrs. Sin's story, when Mrs. Tarkabasi thought that Mrs. Sin loves him because uh, she trusts him, but in the end he realized that uh, she didn't, so I can learn from his mistake. Learn more about this impact me because I can compare and contrast between both story and see the difference between and the similar. After after finish reading the stories, we did a ECA and and show the different and the similar in both stories. 
One idea, I, one idea I learned more about in this unit was working in a group. This means during the reading, I have to talk with my group about the questions. When I work, when I work as a group, I have to discussion the questions with all my group so we can decide one answer and we all can understand more more about about the, the about the story. For example, when I was talking with uh, Alex and Gabby as a group, we was we were discussing about one questions and I. Alex was uh, disagreeing, and but I, I was I w I had the same idea with Gabby, but in the end we decided to to connect it, the all the idea and we made it a better answer. Learn more about this impact me because it can help me to improve my English and get a good grade. When I'm reading when, with with when I'm reading, we are reading in English, so it helped me my reading in English. Also during the reading, Mr. Paul watching all the students and giving points. One idea I learned more about in this unit was when I spoke to the tourists. This means the tourists came to help us for the essay. The tourists helped us a lot with the ECA. They were, they were checking all the things I wrote step by step to summarize both stories. One time I faced struggles with one question which, would, which was when I was looking for evidence for pro, to prove my example about language. This abilities are important because they gave us more ideas about the project that we are doing. Learning about interpreter of melodies in English class taught me new, did me a new knowledge skills in English development practices, which have already impacted me negatively. Before I learned about interpreter of melodies in English class, I was thinking working alone is the best way to do a better job. But after I worked with my group and we shared ideas, I realized that it's, it's more helpful to work as a group. However, now I'm able to work with my group and hear their ideas and share my idea with them. This is important because it can help me to understand more about what, what I'm doing. Also, I can help in my it can help me in my future if I will have a job and have to work uh, as a team. All right. So, questions. What grammar, spelling, and pronunciation problem patterns was common in your life? So, in your writing, mm -hmm. what was common? What problems did you have in your writing with, like many times, like with punctuation or grammar or spelling? Oh. Sometimes I have struggles with like when I have to put a comma or when I have to put a period. Mm. And what are two or three different sections uh, where you would use quotation marks? Different situations. Uh -huh. <coughs> two or three different situations use where you use quotation, quotation marks. marks. Mm -hmm. Like when you are writing when do you use quotation marks? Like when you were doing the essay, for example. When there is a, a question, I have to use quotation marks. When, when there is a question, a question, I have to use it. Mm, when there's a question, is question mark, right? Yeah. Question mark. But quotation marks is like the, ch -ch the two yeah. lines. And the two, you know, the um, quotation yeah, yeah. mark? Yeah, you remember? Yeah. Okay. So when do you use the quotation mark? 
when it's like something interesting, like it's making you to something else. There's some in the essay. Mm -hmm. In the essay, you use this, right? The quotation mark, yeah. the two, and the other two, in the beginning and the end. What's in the middle? The name. Aha, uh -huh, name of what? Of the story. Aha, uh -huh, so name of story, that's one good example. What else? There's some other times in the essay when you use the quotation mark. Can you remember? Come on, guys. Stop. Stop. <laughs> when it's, oh, when it's, <laughs> when it's stuck in, when it's like a, about, about in the, from the story, discussion, talking about like, so, example from the story. Aha, when you use the example from the story. Okay, good, good. Okay. <laughs> so, with some help. <laughs> with some help. <clears throat> Another question? Did you translate something? Um, if there were different type of themes in your story, because you did inter I mean, you did inter uh, inter okay, interpretive melodies, and what was your other story? Mrs. Sen. Mrs. Sen. Uh -huh. um, there is if the theme is different or is the same? It's like uh, the similar, the, they both like. And Mrs. Sen, the family, they speak only English because they adapt to, they born in the U.S. Mm -hmm. And the second, also they speak only English because they are they're from U.S. But they went to to India to visit their family. The, 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 the similar, they, they both like speak English and the different. Similar that identity part of their language, which is English. More questions? Um, uh, why is paraphrasing useful? Um, it's a uh, Helpful because it uh, makes you to understand more about what you are doing. So, can you tell us how did you create the thesis statement for your essay? So, when you read the story, mm -hmm. after you read the story, what did you do to make the thesis? Mm -hmm. I read both story. I see. I I saw. I check what's the different and the similar. I first I did. I I like the thesis to do with the last part, so I can understand all the things and just make it shorter and write the main idea about the stories. Now time to go. Yeah. Okay. They help me when I tell them my idea to make sure if it's correct or not. And they shared some ideas with me that it helped me a lot to finish more faster than my friends that they were in my group. I want to hear a little bit more about your story. So, um, so you read the Mrs. Sen story, and um, you decided to talk about the identity of the language, like what language they use. Yeah. And so, Mrs. Sen, what language did she use? 
she she's the babysitter right yeah, she's the babysitter she's, she were, she was always speaking english but one time when she came back to her home she she was happy because she got the letters she called her husband and she she was talking to him in uh, in india uh -huh. and uh, the little boy i don't know what his name elliot uh -huh. and yet he was like uh, looking to her when she was speaking in india yeah <coughs> What is a citation? And why is it important to use citation? To have citation? It's citation, C I T, C I T, citation. It's um, in my room on top of the board. I have like an example. Uh huh. So, uh huh. Uh -huh. Okay. So, what, what, why is it important to use this? Can you explain like what what happens in this like the example above in my room? What what is it? What is the reason? Why do we use it? To show like uh, with like when we wrote like the name of the story and we show the page too. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And why why do we want to show that? Because. It To make it more uh, like if you so um, if you read an essay and it doesn't have this, what's the problem? Or so to make you. Uh, to show you where where is the story like from where you can get the information exactly, yeah. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> good 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 so because you want to show evidence you want to show and the other person can look is that true is the evidence true right and then they can look on the paper also yeah. okay good okay great job thank you good. okay